whether there is a um, social media is moving up and down or not god remains the same praise god and uh, if we look at this uh, topic now when we are looking at it when we address it we must address it in the basic truth whether we are able to uh, accept the the terms or not the, the basic truth that this is how you ought to be if before you get married praise god amen, amen. so we understand before marriage the courtship the courtship have to be monitored and if you look at it in another way let us not say because we are christian in another way if you are in manchester you are in manchester and your children are in the u.s praise god and they happen to have a partner that uh, she or you want to marry them and you are praying here how are you going to manage the situation following the real caution somebody will go and monitor them praise god amen look at amen this is how we yeah, we have to start putting in them the word of god and the fear of the lord let the fear of god be in it then the only thing that can guide them that very moment is the word of god and the fear of god in their heart not you because you are not there with them praise god amen i pray that god will help us in jesus name so there are areas we apply wisdom and i ask god be praying for them most of the time when children are with us we just build them now if they are in school you are no longer there the only way you can connect them is your prayer am i right that is your prayer praise god so that the fear that you are putting in the fear of the lord that is in their heart will stay there even when they are in school amen so any child can can change when they want they, they can be be a saint when they are home once they get to school anything can happen praise god the only way you can prevent that thing from happening is your prayer our oh, parents day and night be praying for them you are not there but god you are there with them praise god and uh, god will help us in jesus name amen, amen. all right quickly let me just go through it okay dating is a form of romantic relationship typically between two individuals of the opposite sex with an aim of assessing each other praise god suitability as a partner in an inmate relationship or as a spice amen that is why brother while we are saying that they are not supposed to be putting this dating if they put courtship now it will explain it better praise god amen, amen. literally it means going out with someone of the opposite sex dating and courtship are two methods of beginning a relationship with the opposite sex according to genesis chapter number 29 18 to 20. it should be noted that the result of dating may lead may lead to relationship intimate relationship that is courtship marriage or no relationship praise god this dating may lead to any one of them or no relationship praise god amen i i i we also agree that not in whether it's Christian courtship or not, not all courtship end in marriage. During that courtship, they can also decide to dissolve the marriage, to dissolve the relationship. Praise God. Even when we are monitoring them, don't go the people there watching over them. At the end, they can say, okay, no, I can't continue with this. Praise God. The most important thing, that is why it's very, very important not to defy the bed. If the bed is not being defied, there is still what? Respect. Amen? If there is still respect, there is still values. But when the bed is being defied, and uh, at the end, say the relationship cannot, uh, cannot proceed, what will happen? Praise God. When the bed is being defied, we move on. They move on. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. But if there is, there is, there is something, you know, they, they, they won't be respected. 
Praise God. Amen. I pray that the, the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Why there are no Christians who why there are no Christians who date with the intention of having a series of intimate, intimate uh, sexual relationships? For the Christian, this is not acceptable and should never be the reason for dating. Amen. Romans chapter number 12, verse 2. Somebody go there quickly. Romans 12, verse 2. And 1 Corinthians chapter number 6, 18 to 20. And, and uh, aspects too, sir. Yes. Okay, let's begin with Romans 12, chapter 2, and okay. 6. And be not conformed to this world, mm. but be ye transformed mm. by the renewing of your mind, yeah. that you may prove what is that good and acceptable yeah. and perfect will of God. Yeah. Uh, while I also agree with that verse, within the context of our discourse, yeah. I will also look at it also from another, you know, yesterday we were also looking at it that day. Yes, <coughs> this part B is not, uh, what is uh, wrote there is not really valid. I would say, uh, you know, I said that I didn't completely agree with this yesterday. Mm -hmm. What am I saying is this, why there are no Christians who date with the intention of having a series of intimate sexual relationships? For the Christian, this is not acceptable. And I want to disagree with this statement that there are some instances that non-Christians, because of their moral values, yeah. they will never go to that. They will tell you, not because they are Christians, they will tell you until the night of my wedding. It's not because they are Christians. Because one thing about this, about this is that uh, we should be able, as, as individuals, as a group, we should be able to teach our children, number one, morals, Number two, the ways of the Lord. When the society loses their morals, Christianity at times may not actually correct it. That is what is happening in our country because we lost our morals. So when the churches are there every day developing, bigger churches are in Nigeria. But because of that moral values that we've lost, we could not actually achieve anything with it, even with the churches we have. The people that are destroying the country today, they are from a particular church or they are from a particular mosque. What, are they, are, what are they teaching there? Because we lost our moral values. If you are not a thief, if your moral values of your family that you will not steal, when you come to a place where you save money, you will never steal. So we should also teach, while we are teaching our children the ways of the Lord, they should also be able to know that they have values that they need to protect. Like what you said, when uh, when uh, the bird is divided, what next? They lost their respect. When they know that even apart from apart from committing sins, you've actually also lost your values, the moral values. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Now, if we should look at it, praise God. This caution. I've watched some program. People who are able to keep themselves before marriage. Are not Christians. I've checked many programs. These people are not Christians. They will say they will not never defile themselves before marriage. Not because they are Christian now. Because the values is there in their family or in their community. They, that is what they keep themselves on team. Not because they are Christians. Praise God. So the values must have to be there when teaching them the word of God. Let them know that there is values. As a woman, you have to have values. Praise God. Let man keep yourself in a way that man will respect you. That you have respect in the sight of that man. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We won't be able to teach our children. And our, the yeah. same, the same thing, sir. I'm sorry to say, sir. Also, man needs to also keep himself. Yes. So that they will also have respect. Respect. It's in both ways. In both ways. Praise God. Amen. 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 That is what I'm saying. I've never seen, uh, I know Christians are doing it. Most programs that you are watching out there, you see young people coming out. Not because they are Christians. <coughs> you say they are able to keep themselves. Until they, you see, they will come to the platform and be saying it. I'll be saying it. They are proud. These are values. 
Not because they are Christians. Amen. So we should not say because uh, this uh, this values is for uh, uh, this cause that is not acceptable alone for Christians not to differ. In general, in general terms, praise God. Whether the person is a Christian or not, you are not supposed to defy the very because of your personal the values and the consequences that are following it if you did not proceed with the relationship. Praise God. Hallelujah. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Biblical standpoint. Why we may not be able to complete, completely close our eyes to this trend in, in the society. Christians, young people should see dating as what? One, a little more than friendship and maintain the relationship aspect of their dating until both are ready to commit to each other as potential marriage partners. Dating should be a time when Christians find out if he or her potential partner is also a genuine believer in Christ before making a commitment of the relationship that is courtship that could lead to marriage. During this time, there should be no sexual relationship, really relation and closeness that could trigger on unrestrained emotions. And this is something that should wait until marriage happens. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Then third, the Christian dating couple must have boundaries in place and be committed not not to uh, not to crossing them. Dating as well as marriage should all should not be between a believer and non believers. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Okay, can I ask, can I yes, sir. Yeah. We, we, we've been talking about Jacob and Rachel. Mm. In the first place, first, first question mm -hmm. is Jacob's parents, where were they involved in this in this whole uh, episode that we're talking about? Because we are going in and there and then. Two, during the seven years Jacob was with uh, Laban doing that work, was did he not see Rachel or really um, uh, pass by? Did they? they, they, they not talk? Did they not do anything? I saw they. What are they doing there, sir? Praise God. What? 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 They, they were observing. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. They are dating. They were. They were courting. They were not sleeping together. They were not. They were in the same place. Jacob was serving under her, under her father. Praise God. The Rachel or the Obeda Leon were not uh, kept away from Jacob. Jacob was seeing them. Jacob spread if not, if not every day, before, if not every day, at least was seeing them for that seven years. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But they are in the same palace. Unfortunately, Praise like God. what we say, like what we say, like most times we, we would have been talking about the Christian culture, yeah. not the uh, dating of the thing. Yeah. I think that is the way we say If we are discussing Christian culture, mm. yeah. the discussion would be like, when you validify a sister or a brother yeah. to be your soulmate, mm. then what are the things that you need to do? Mm. In contrary to what world, being a Christian in contrary to what the world are doing. As I'm talking to you, sir, maybe this dating of the thing, I also want to agree, maybe is introduced based on what is happening in our society today, whereby someone will be so cocky to the extent that uh, the time will be going, they will not be able to find husband or they will not be able to find wife. Because they are too cocky, they are Christians. They are too cocky. Maybe that was the reason why. Because as of, as of today in Nigeria, they've introduced the dating site. How to see? Yes. Oh my God. A, 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 is it House of David in Lagos has introduced a dating site, and there was a disclaimer on it. The disclaimer was being analyzed on social media. That's why we did the disclaimer. Because if someone you are dating through that site and someone dupe you or someone he dies, uh, there's some other commitment from your part, and you, you feel cheated. The site disclaiming that they are not responsible, so you should know what you are doing. So, maybe that is the reason why they are introducing this. But, like I said, you know, uh, Dickie, we are actually up on this thing yesterday. When we lose our moral values, when you lose our moral values, I even mentioned of the pastor in a Christ Embassy that has spent over 17 years in the bank, that stole money, and that was also caught on camera. 
having uh, intercourse with different women, bringing them into the bank, you know, because mm. what? Because Lot of morals. Yes. So at times when you lose your morals, Christianity may not be able to save you. I don't maybe you understand. You know, Christians supposed to Christianity is supposed to aid your morals. But do not lose your morals because that is the reason why you see pastors, the so-called pastors, they are found wanting. Why? Because the morals, values are lost. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, um, I would like to add to what I said. The Bible says we are in the world of God. It's not everything that they do that we talk about. And to reply to what the relationship, we understand that um, um, Jacob and Rachel might be talking, but it's how did the relationship start from the beginning? Jacob notified to Laban his interest for his daughter. Yeah. That's like protection. We know what's going on. You don't come into a house, you start seeing somebody's daughter without the father being aware. Mm -hmm. You don't you don't go about doing whatever is disrespectful. Yeah. If you are if your intention are clear, what is the procedure? What do you do? You can observe from a father when you're ready. Make your you, if you cannot go to the parent, does your pastor know? Who is, who, is, who is monitoring? Who is advising? Yeah. It's, just, it's just about understanding principles. And I think um, we are not saying Christians should not observe each other. Yeah. That, that seven year was a time for him to know his father, but he already committed from the beginning. So, this. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. See, like what I said, uh, look at it. Say, no marriage in heaven. RCCG Parish opens online dating sites. So it's evident everywhere. And they were criticizing it on social media. That's why Praise God. Like this. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Amen. God will help us. So uh, I believe people brought out this uh, this topic. I don't I don't look at things in my in one way. Praise God. If I'm looking at, looking at it in this way, maybe others will position himself and look at it in another way and is perfectly correct the way he's looking at it. Praise God. Amen. And both of us, we are working together to be able to manage this situation that we have at hand. Praise God. So, then bringing out this topic, they know that these issues of courtship and dating it has become a problem even in the, even in the Christendom. Praise God for our young people. So they, they are bringing out something to be able to teach them, to manage them, to tell them this is what you are supposed to do. Praise God. Amen. To manage the situation. I pray that God will give every one of us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Why young people should not... Okay, why is it good that young people should not sexually define themselves in the process of dating? Why is it important? <coughs> Amen. Why is it important? It's to keep the value, to respect. Amen. First, <coughs> I say why is it important, so important that young people should keep themselves on the fire during this time of uh, dating or courtship. Because when we find out, it might not always end, end to marry for one reason or for another. It can be for health reasons. It can be because you're moving away. Place. Anything can happen. So, but if you're not committed sexually, yeah. whenever, the Bible says whenever we, we um, went to when a, a man and a woman comes together and have sex, it becomes one for their united. So if, if you go on a date and you sleep with one, two, you are, you are, your spirit and your soul is still attached to that person. You can, you can break up like you say, but you are not breaking up. You are still bonded together. And that spiritual, um, uh, spiritual baggage you are carrying on. Yeah, all around. Yeah. So by moving uh, now, we understand if the dating of courtship did not end in, not all courtship in a way, end in marriage. Yeah. No, if the bed is on, if the, being defied now, and the respect and the values yeah. being lost in that courtship. Praise God. Amen. 
they won't be coming out from him. It's like the person is in bondage. But if the bed is on the fire and you look at the situation, you, think you can't proceed. Move it out, it's very easy. Praise God. It's easy. You are not attached to anything. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. Sorry. And you'll be, you'll be proud to move out with respect. Yeah. Praise the Lord. This dating and the important, as I've said before, is I have an example of a lady there. And it's happening to all of them, the young coming up now. When they go on dating, it leads to sexual um, um, relations. And then they keep changing from one person in trying to know themselves, yeah. which actually turn them to be like a prostitute because it's adult, 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 adult yeah. now. So it has really damaged them, them to the extent of them saying they don't want to get married. Because they think in the air that all men are the same. So I think it's really, maybe we should stop using the deity because it's turning them to a, a, an adult, adulterer or a prostitute. And the, the problem there, they were not taught how to follow it up. Praise God. Hey, I believe not the dating is the problem. These people we are not, no, like they will not be cancer. Maybe their parents or whatever did not explain to them. Now this is it. this is not the time of to say that uh, they are children. They are growing up. This is the time to call them and be open. Praise God and be open to them. Look at look at what is happening out there. You that are coming from there before you now know Christ, you know what is there. You have the experience. Praise God. Now, you telling your children, you must be able to open to them. Tell them these are the consequences. Praise God. Look, look this is how to do it. And try and be a friend. Amen. You must be a friend to your children. That is the only way you can. If they cannot confide on you, they confide on somebody that is out there. Am I, I I'm right? If they cannot be your friend, they look for friends elsewhere. So your children have to be your friend that they will be able to be open to you. Not if I tell my dad today that dad will do this. No. You must be able to remove that fear that they will be able to be open to you and you discuss with them. You rub mind together. Praise God. That is the only way, the only way to leave this. The church knows that there is a problem. They, they didn't feel, feel in a very comfortable way to bring this dating. I believe if they want to do God, uh, the church will not bring dating. God, they know in the past problem uh, that roaming about in the Christendom. And they have youth. We have youth. So we, they need to look for a way to pass the message across to them. Praise God. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Okay, finally, fulfillment in Christ first. I think this one will help us. And this one will have, will help our children. So we train them for them to find fulfillment in Christ. So if they find fulfillment in Christ, that one will help them. So the reason why the word of God is written is to instruct us into righteousness. Praise God. So every child of God that finds fulfillment in Christ, they have something to work to help them. And David said, the word of God I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against God. So when they have the word of God, they find fulfillment in Christ. When this time of temptation comes, what will help them? The word of God in them. That they might not sin against God. They look at it, if I do this, I will sin. Praise God. Amen? Not because they fear you now. They are talking about God. Because where they are, you are no longer there. Maybe you are doing your own. And they are in a different country. But God is always with them in their heart. Praise God. Let me quickly say something. I remember my, when I was growing up, I attended a, a, a male's only secondary school. Boys only secondary school. And uh, in that school, we don't have any relationship with ladies. And it actually affected my disposition towards the opposite gender. I can remember very well. In fact, I have to consciously develop it so that I can relate with ladies. Yeah. So I can have them as friends. At that, at that initial time, I don't have ladies as friends. 
I have them as sometimes. Uh, I don't even so, so I cannot relate with ladies as in you talk like we are talk to a male. You understand? So like we said, we can actually a, a female person can have a friendship relationship with a male person, but not dating or relationship. If we know each other here and we have been greeting hello, how are you? As a family we've been related with as friends, it may develop into a courtship. I think the word dating, the word dating, what it connotes also, is is problematic in this discussion. <laughs> Praise God. All right. We have to uh, quickly. Sorry, sir. Um, I think like the, the section just mentioned, um, having a relationship with Christ um, can prevent one to fall into this mistake. If if we understand that there is no other law that we will find in this world that is above the law of God, if we understand, most of the reason why we go for boyfriend and dating. We are seeking love, so we have that love already. Are we understanding it? Are we appreciating it? And um, no other love, no other love can surpass it. And a real disciple of Christ, when you understand the love of God and the price He paid, and who you are, who your what your who your body represents as a true disciple, you keep that love for it. You can preserve yourself. Yeah, that, that, that is what the second outline is talking about. Finding what? When you find fulfillment in Christ first, then you will be secure. You have something to defend you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Importance of finding fulfillment in Christ. To be in a God-centered romantic relationship in some years to come, you must first find your personal fulfillment in Christ. Before we can prevent all these things, we must be able to find fulfillment in Christ. That you are last in Christ. The love of God is in your life. Then there are, we have many, I've seen many people that, that have a lot of friends. A lot of friends. Then if you go to them and ask them now, they will still tell you they are lonely. And those people are around them. Praise God. Amen. But when you have the love of God in you, you see yourself that it's like you are being loved by everybody. You don't see the, the hatred in whatever they are doing, but you are seeing love. Because the love of God in you is, you know, is going out. Praise God. Amen. He said the love of God in all, he said he covered a multitude of sin. So because the love you have in you now, it secured you. It makes you, uh, you don't feel lonely. He said, the joy of the Lord is our strength. You always have strength in you. Amen. Praise God. People who commit suicide, not because they don't have family. Some of them are from a very rich family. Praise God. Why did they have to give up? Because the time, time of loneliness has come, they will lost hope. Praise God. I pray that that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. The stronger your faith in God, the better you will be able to love another. God is a jealous God. And until you have a priority relationship with God that is above everything and anyone else, it is vital that God is first in your life. Praise God. You must be able to take God first in your life. Amen. And people who seek, they want to, if, if you are too inquisitive to, to, to get marriage, if you are too inquisitive, that's why people make mistakes. Praise God. Because you, you, you are just, I want, to, I want to get married. I want to. You are not focused. You lost focus in God. The world, even when God is talking to you, because you are too inquisitive. Praise God. Amen. And they don't know that that very particular time you are in haste. You want to get married quickly. You will bring anyone or fake people. The people that will come to your come around you, if they are the fake one. Praise God. So if you are not patient enough, you won't be able to get to the real one that is behind the fake one. Devil will flash the fake one first. Amen. Praise God. You need to be the one you run to when you are lonely. 
odd or sad, etc. No friend, especially the opposite sex, can help you out. Can always be there for you like God. Praise God. So you don't have.